Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as syndicate members of Fresh Bench rebuked the outcasts and retained their hold on the primary oil reserves of Weaver's Fin. An unfortunate breach in Everfall last night, impacting nearly every means of production. Citizens seeking to aid the theocracy of Oxboro should know that the mission boards are offering tithings in exchange for small tasks. Two lineups submitted for tonight's simulated fantasy combat resolution, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the citrus hating zealots of Waffle House assault the syndicate members of Tropical for Crown and Kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. It's happening again, very nearly barely able to move, swollen limbs looking like Popeye, the syrup-covered converts of Waffle House Company take out their rage against Citrus. Please, take our oranges, begged the members of Tropical, aghast at the zombies approaching them on the open plains of the bluff, hoping their foes won't keel over before they start their fight. Then, the syndicate members of Fresh Bench assail the marauders of Big Pharma for control of the alligator sanctuaries of Reekwater. The swamp people of Fresh Bench launch an attack on their neighbors to the south, seeking to gain control over the isolated delta. But Big Pharma are fighting to maintain the ecosystems of their sanctuaries here in the bayou, and they're doing this one for chompers. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.